I think what we've seen is the traffic hitting kind of the benchmarks that most brick and mortar managers were expecting, somewhere between a 10 and 15 percent increase. Obviously, it depends on the region, but for the most part, nationwide, I think it's uh, it's been around 10 to 15 percent. So, uh, not as much as I think um, some people were expecting. But it is uh, kind of actually amazing how how in line it was with the predictions I was getting for managers uh, right around Black Friday. Yeah, I think I don't think anyone expected it to be to, to, to be going along as strong as it has. Having said that. There's still a feeling within the community that if online poker doesn't come back soon, that eventually brick and mortar is going to fall off because people are going to run out of money. I know at this year's World Series, there were a lot of people out there whose plan was basically, well, Black Friday just ended, I'm going to just, just happen. I'm going to play the World Series of Poker this summer and then take it from there and see what I'm going to do. And so I would assume that the vast majority of people who didn't have monster success at the World Series this summer, I would think from, from those ranks you'll see some people dropping off if online poker doesn't come back. Yeah, I don't think anybody is going to be uh, predicting a downturn again after we've seen these for the past few years and the, the numbers that have uh, bucked uh, predictions. So uh, I, I certainly think they're going to be off across the board. Um, I think this year was just a little bit of a jolt because of uh, the timing of Black Friday. Next year, you know, people will have a you know, full year of this non-online arena that we're in and then Justin as well. 